Hi, and welcome back to my own utopia. I am Kaylina, and today I am going to show you guys a walkthrough through this wonderful magazine, The Crochet for Today, 33 Classic Styles and Reviewed. Oh, I can't wait. I just opened it, and I haven't even looked through it, so I get to go through this at the exact same time as you guys. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> So before we get into it, please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and little bell for all for notifications. That will help me out tremendously. If you like content like this and you want to follow me on other social media, I have a Facebook and an Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. It is a Facebook group, not a Facebook page. Alright, so as you can tell, oh. This is gorgeous and would be so pretty in cotton and to be able to have this during the spring and summertime because here down in Georgia we are already fluctuating between the temperatures of like uh, was it 50 I think it was the high all the way up until the 80s and 90s all right let me go ahead and get to the first one and cover up the whole pattern oh and for those of you that do not know when I do a review like this, the reason why I cover up the pattern and I do not give it out is because this is a paid product. And because this is a paid product, you are also paying for the patterns in here. It is not right to be showing off or giving away the patterns for free. So I'm going to cover them up. If you are interested in this, you can always go to, um, what is it, crochetmagazine.com. This one is the late spring of 2022. So. so here is our first pattern. No cold shoulder shawl. <laughs> that is a cute way of playing with the words. I love the detailing in here. It is very detailed and it looks like it's very textured, but also too, it is very simple. The next pattern is this cowl. Oh, is it so pretty? I absolutely love the way that they did it. So they did the white, the gray, and then the teal, and then they put the teal around the edging to bring it all together. Oh. The next pattern is going to be this tote. It is so cute. I can see this for teenagers and for preteens and also too for like individuals in their 20s. Oh, I, you know, looking at the fashion that's coming out recently, it looks like we're going right back to the 1970s. And talking about the 1970s, this fits in just beautifully. I love this. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Our next pattern is this absolutely gorgeous blanket. I think it's called Starry Night Blanket or Starry Night Afghan. And from the last blanket to this one is the same pattern. It's just they turned it into a pillow. Here is our next pattern. This is absolutely adorable. This is something that you can put into your kitchen, kitchen curtains, or something else like that. So our next pattern is a top. Oh my gosh, is it adorable? Oh, I can so see myself wearing this. Except for I would not make the ridge here. I would bring it up to enhance the... Uh, your bosoms. <laughs> Our next pattern is this another top. Oh my gosh, is it 
beautiful now the last uh, top if you were curious about this as it goes from an extra small to an a 3x give me one second I can tell you what the sizes are for this one so this one goes from a small to a 3x as well look at the detailing in this so the next pattern is this adorable hat so our next pattern is this triangle scarf this is surely one way you can teach your children what's a triangle <laughs> yeah I'm engulfing too much in school so our next pattern is Paul's was it four Paul's coasters this is absolutely adorable our next pattern is some placemats they look like they're reversible too here we have another top it is absolutely adorable it goes from sm uh, sizes small to 3x our next pattern is called ocean wave waves sh uh, shawl or is it a wrap I think it's a wrap now that fits beautifully with a stitch pattern that they have added into this it is gorgeous and they match it up beautifully with the dress oh our next pattern is in mosaic shawl yeah it's a shawl it is gorgeous Our next pattern is a rug. Oh my goodness, the detailing in this is beautiful. I can see this is a hot pad too. Wow. So the next pattern is a shawl. It is a corner to corner shawl. It is gorgeous. our next pattern is for children this is a kids tank it is so cute the next pattern is a bag oh, I love the detailing especially from the bottom on up our next pattern is an afghan a mosaic tile afghan how pretty is this <gasps> oh. I think mosaic is becoming very popular this year and I can see it just going all year long our next pattern is another tote Here's our next pattern. This is absolutely adorable. Oh, I can also see this on little girls. Oh my goodness. Our next pattern is another tote. Yeah, I think we're going back to the 1970s to tell you the truth. <laughs> oh yeah with all the fashion and all the new patterns and everything else like that yeah we're going back to the 1970s and the hairstyles too oh yeah here's the next pattern it's for your slippers oh my goodness that is so cute our next pattern is another tote oh my so colorful
And here's that beautiful pattern that was in the very beginning. So this goes from a size small all the way up to a 3X. There are so many different stitches in here. Our next pattern is this absolutely adorable little tank. I'm going to have to try one of these. Our next pattern is this throw. Oh, I love it. It looks like it'll work up very quickly. Our next pattern is this vest. Oh, I love the color choices that they chose for this. Our next pattern is a farmhouse granny afghan. This is gorgeous. Our next pattern is this pretty little top. Looks like daisies. I bet you can change the daisy colors to yellow and it'll pop even more white. All right, you wonderful individual. So that was it. That was the last pattern. So here's a recap. I love that they do this. Yeah, that was it. All right. I hope that y'all stay safe and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And until next time, be blessed. Bye, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today.